Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Swigard. I am part of the OpenText Edocs DM customer support team, and today we will be going over the Edocs DM enhanced footer feature. In today's lesson, we will go over supported versions, new features, a walkthrough, and useful information. Edocs DM's enhanced footer is supported in the following versions Edocs DM 5 through 1, patch 5B and higher, and Edocs DM 10, all versions. As you can see from the slide of the original footer and the enhanced footer, quite a few new options have been added to the enhanced footer. You can now add the library name, page numbers, font, text, client ID, client name, matter ID, and matter name. In addition, there are now various fields for the footer options that can be edited in the new edit box to customize your footer even more. I'll go over these edit options a little later in the presentation. Now, I won't read off all the points that we are going to hit in this walkthrough, but essentially I will be showing you how to insert a DM footer, edit it, and then mass deploy it to a group. Alright, let's get started. To start, launch DM extensions, log in as a doc supervisor, and perform a search that returns a Microsoft Word document. Open the document, click the DM tab, and on the Word toolbar, click the drop down arrow below the insert and select DM footer. You should now see the eDocs DM footer options dialog box. Select your preferred footer options and click OK to insert the footer. Now, Open the eDocs DM footer options dialog box again, and I'll go over some of the editing options. Let's start with page numbers. Notice that when a field is first selected, the XML is grayed out in the edit box. To edit the XML, you will need to select the edit checkbox. So I wanted to start with page number uh, because it is the only field that is really different from the others. The page number option has its own unique align parameter which can be set to right, center, or left. Just as a heads up, it is case sensitive and it will need to be capitalized completely. The page number option also has its own font parameter which allows you to set the font style independently of other options. The font can be any Microsoft Office recognized font and unlike the align parameter it is not case sensitive. The last parameter for the page number option are text 1 and text 2. The default text for this option is page 1 of 2 but this option lets you change the page and of to whatever you would like. Next up is the font option. The font option has two parameters, font style and size. Font style works like the page numbers parameter font does. It allows you to specify and set any Microsoft Office recognized font type as the font for your footer and it will apply to all of your footer options. The size parameter allows you to set the font size. These two options will apply to all of your DM footer options that you end up selecting, except page numbers if you set the page number font parameter. Let's move on to the text option. The text option is a static line of text that you would like to include in your DM footer. Alright, so before when I was going over the page numbers option, I mentioned that it had its own unique align parameter that can be set to right, center, or left. In every field besides page number, and font, 
the line parameter still exists, but the flags for it are different. The flags for other fields are new line, tab, and none. These flags are case sensitive as well. The N and L in new line, the T in tab, and the N in none will be need to be capitalized. So for new line, for the first option, it doesn't really matter. It's always going to put it on the same line. For tab, it tabs over a set amount of spaces. And for none, it wouldn't put any of those spaces in between. So it would start right at the end of the zero of a uh, my document number, which is 120. And then for new line past that first new line perimeter, it puts it on a new line by itself and then any other options you have after it, as long as there's not another new line that comes in between it, will be added to that same line. After you have edited your footer and your XML is to your liking, click the Validate XML link. If everything is good, you will see a green check mark appear at the top right of the edit box. If there are errors, you will see a red flashing exclamation point in the center right of the edit box. Before moving on to mass deploying the footer to a group, let's go over the last couple of options. The select all checkbox will select all of the options and selecting it again will clear out all of your selections. If selected, the auto update checkbox will automatically update your DM footer for new versions, subversions, and new documents. The don't show this dialog checkbox will hide the edocs DM footer options if a user does not want to see it every time they want to insert a DM footer. It stores the last used footer options. As a little bonus, I want to show you a cool way to place a document number and version together in one line only separated by a period. It just kind of puts a clean look and feel to the doc number dot version. Select your document number, select document version, Click edit if it's not already selected. Leave the line flag for document number as new line. And we're just going to shorten, shorten document number to doc number sign. We're going to change the alignment of document version to none. And we're going to replace everything in the document version text field to just be a period. Don't forget to validate your XML and select auto update. And let's go ahead and click OK. You should now have a clean line that shows the document number and version separated by a period. If there is a subversion on of that document you are working on, it will add a letter after the version number. All right, so let's move on to the last section, mass deploying the footer to a group of users. Before you start this section, you will want to log in as a doc supervisor and set up the footer the way you'd like for the group. Close the document you set it for and save the changes.
Once you have your footer set up, open the SQL Management Studio. As you'll notice, I already have all the necessary statements typed out with comments as to each what, as to what each step is doing. I'll quickly go through the steps and give you an explanation. The first select statement returns a list of all of your groups with associated system ID. Make note of the system ID for the group you want to push the footer to. I'll be pushing my footer to my docs users group so it's zero for me. When you run the second select statement, you should see a result with the footer options in the column name. We want to change the entity link to the actual system ID for the group and the section name to the application we are working with, in which this case it's MS Word. So let's go ahead and run our update statement. We are updating the docsadm.settings table and setting the entity link equal to the system ID of the group we want to push the footer to, where the entity link is 1857, which is the system ID for my user ID, not my user's system ID. And the section name is MS Word. Go ahead and run the third select statement to verify the changes. Now, let's go back to our client machine, log in as a user from that group, and test. The footer options and XML are filled out for the user that is part of the group you set this for. You'll also notice that most of the options are now grayed out so that the user cannot change them and you're done. Here is some additional useful information. The doc number dot version is the XML I used to create the clean document number with the version separated by a period. The footer XML is the XML for the footer I used in my mass deployment example. The registry keys are the registry keys you can use if you want to push the footer out to one or two users. And finally, here are the SQL statements I ran to mass deploy a footer to a group. All right, everyone, that's it for today's lesson on the EDOX DM enhanced footer feature. Again, my name is Trevor Swigard. Thank you all for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to open up a ticket for more information. All right, have a great day.